at the moment my ball bounces around, my paddle works, but I don't lose any lives, so there's no real danger in the game. Now, we want to lose a life when I miss the ball and it hits this edge. Unfortunately, we can't just specify this edge because all edges are known as edge. So what we've got to do is make something along here, another sprite called floor first. So I'm going to go to new sprite and I'm going to make a rectangle. Let me zoom out a bit so I can see the whole canvas. There we go. Make a rectangle. I'm going to make it blue and it doesn't need to be really thick. It just needs to go all the way across like that. Click OK. There it is, and I'm going to call it Floor. <coughs> there we go. And I'm going to write a script. When the green flag is clicked, this is in Floor as well, by the way. Go to X is 0, Y is, and the last one we said for that, that was 150, so I'm going to make this 175, so it's right at the bottom. So when I click the green flag, ah. What did I do wrong? 175's at the top, minus 175's at the bottom. Let's try that. There we go. So now you can see that the floor is underneath. The next step is, because it doesn't actually lose a life, because we haven't told Scratch what lives are. So we're going to want to create a variable. And we're going to make one, and I'm going to call it lives. There we are. Now, on the stage, I'm going to put in, when the green flag is clicked, go back to variables and put set lives to, and I'm going to start with three lives. Now, For starters, I'm going to need to get rid of that forever loop. Go to control and put a forever if in. And then put an operator in. Because we want it to carry on forever if lives are greater than zero. So that's zero. Variable is lives. And that goes up here. So, if lives are greater than zero, then we need an if else. This is where it gets a little complex. Pop that in. Actually, I'll leave it down here for the moment. If it is touching, if the ball is touching the floor, again, change lives by minus one and we want it to go to the middle again so we want to start from the middle if you lose a life so go to zero zero and point in direction Let's pick a random from operators, and let's try something like minus 70 to 90. That'll work. Um, then else, pop your move in there. That's floating around. Move 10 steps. And then pop your if in underneath that then this whole section gets dropped into the forever if loop for if lives are greater than zero all of these things will happen so let's have a look I've got three lives I've still got three lives it hasn't touched the floor yet oh, I've, I've lost a life I've lost a life I've lost a life and it's stopped okay that seems to be working well have a go at doing it